Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. Go to me. So friends, this is the first video of cloud computing, which will be discussing only about the introduction, the objectives that will be coming across the entire era of this cloud computing. So friends, in this video, we will be discussing what is cloud computing, what is the trend in current existence of 2020. Okay. So speaking about what is this cloud computing. Okay, so cloud computing is nothing to define as a storing and accessing of data and computing service over the internet. So friends, as soon as you hear a word cloud, so there is a one thing that comes in your mind is cloud is well known for data storage. Okay, and there are much more activities that is taken from the cloud computing which you guys are not come across that is cloud computing is not totally used for storing data but perhaps you can access the data from it and computing service over the internet so friends if you ask me what is this computing service over the internet you can clearly see here cloud computing acts as a resource see friends assume i'm working on a project and i need a software and hardware resource a particular project that i am assigned to so cloud computing act as a resource provider for a particular software and hardware requirement that we need for particular if you ask me what kind of resource that this cloud computing provide means like servers data storage networking database and much more so we'll be discussing the entire with this course so you will get to know the in-depth detail, details of this cloud computing resource and much more okay the main purpose of this cloud computing is to give the access to the data centers to many users. Users can also access data from a remote server. So one thing keep that in mind, friends. Assume you're working on a uh, working from non-cloud computing and cloud computing. The difference between cloud computing and other is see in other kind of technology, the end user will be acted as a human. I mean, an analyst. Okay, in cloud computing, it's a remote server. In other kind of servers there will be an end user who will working on that server side and client side but in cloud computing client side comes along with the remote side servers all the things that will be remote so you don't need an analyst or a specific human to work on this particular server end of the technology okay and this is the main this is the main objective of this cloud computing so think about this in-depth details about the cloud computing as i said before we assume you're working on a website okay uh, outside of the website also the user of the website will be called as an end user a customer or client whatever it may be inside the or uh, inside the website i mean the organization working will call it as a server and people here it will be declared as service provider and end user see friends now can clearly see here here the service provider so i need a service i mean i need a uh, software and hardware requirements for my software design what i will do so this is the clear cut scenario of how the cloud computing is able to provide you the resource that is required for a particular project that we are assigned to that is the main objective of cloud computing is with a remote server as well as a computer resource that is the main that is the reason why cloud computing is in good state so so in this era of this cloud computing we'll come, come across what are the types of cloud cloud computing services cloud computing architecture oscillation cloud computing grid computing which is cloud computing and utility computing cloud security cloud storage and cloud service provider okay so friends in this uh, era i'll be discussing each concept individually in separate video so I request you kindly please follow and subscribe the channel for further notification so that you can keep following the all the videos of this concept as soon as i upload the video and here comes the application of cloud computing with efficiency and cost reduction data security scalability business application software development testing and much more see friends instead of explaining this each one individually so when i come across this particular concept of this cloud era individual so you'll come to know what are the advantages applications pros and cons of each and everything of this cloud co uh, computing serviceability so friends so since it's the introduction so i'll be uh, not uh, i will not dragging the entire thing of this cloud computing so uh, if you like this video make sure you like 
share, subscribe, and comment. So, friends, I request to before ending this video, I request to kindly please uh, follow up all the videos that I'll covering. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.